So I get a good, nice, good bronzer. This is getting old, I probably should replace it. But get plenty of that on a brush. And then I'm gonna go downward strokes. And I wanna make sure that I blend and get a little on the neck as well. If you, it, I recommend that you already have your dancer in their costume if possible, or that they're wearing a button up shirt so it'll be easier to get their costume on and off without getting makeup on it. And I would put um, bronzer on the boys too, just so they don't look really, really pale on stage. So nothing extreme. He just doesn't look as pale, which is nice. All right, let's talk blush. So I have two examples here of blush that will work. This one is um, a bit of more of a pink but it's a warm pink. Make sure it's, you don't get a blue toned pink. You want a warm toned pink. And this one, if I can get it open, is more of a pe warm peach, like a, a coral. Now either of these will work for violet. I'm gonna go ahead and go with pink. And we're gonna start at the apple right here and work towards the hairline and just blend at upward strokes. And yeah, we're gonna have more blush because it's a performance. So don't be scared of the blush. It's so that you can see your daughter's face from the stage. Nice. I mean, she's not gonna look like a clown, but she's gonna look more than what she would definitely not wear, like walk around in public with that much blush on, right? So this is dancer's makeup. All right, now for brows. There's two things you can do for brows. You can either um, use a pencil and, and dry it, in, like brush it in with strokes. I'm using a light one. This is the kind of color that you would use on a blonde or someone with fair hair, um, redheads that have fair eyebrows. Um, you wanna get something, it's a, just a slight shade darker. I got like hair stuck on my hands, sorry. And when you use a pencil, you're just gonna lightly brush and follow the line of the brow to give it a little more definition. But I used a light one on her on purpose because I'm actually gonna use, uh, this isn't her color, this is too light for her. As, I, as you can see, you can barely even tell it did anything at all. And that's because it's not her color. So for, for brunettes or people with dark hair, you want to pick a um, either a pencil or an eyeshadow. I'm gonna use an eyeshadow now in a shade that's one shade lighter. So for blondes, you go one shade darker and brunettes, you go one shade lighter when you're selecting this. Now I'm just gonna stroke along her brows. And you can definitely already tell a difference between the two but she still looks like Violet, which is good. You don't want her to look, like I said, like a clown. So you want her to look like Violet with makeup on for dance. Okay. Then for eyeshadow, we're gonna keep it really, really simple. We wanna get a light color to highlight up here on the orbital bone under the brow. It could be white or ivory. And then I'm going to take a nice dark chocolate brown and I'm going to close your carefully work that in over the lid and I'm just when she opens her eyes there's that go ahead and open there's a crease there and that's how I know where I want it to be I don't want it to go above the crease go ahead and close see 
So I want to just cover where the crease is. And I'll do the same on the other side. And that's all you need for a shadow. Okay, and I do use an eyeliner. I recommend black for a brunette or brown for a blonde or a redhead because that will look a little bit more natural. And all I'm going to do, go ahead and close, is I'm going to follow her lashes, the line where her lashes are and go out to the corner and I'm going to turn her to the side so you can see a little bit better. On the side, I'm going to draw a line starting out here and bring it to that to where I drew with her lashes are. Okay, and then open. So I started about where the iris is instead of going to the middle because from a stage far away, if you do too much in the middle, it'll make her look a little bit cross-eyed or her eyes too close together. So we wanna draw the eyes out. She's gonna look up now. Matthew, mommy's busy. And then, so look up. And then I'm gonna go under the eye here very carefully. My son sounds like he's in distress. <laughs> A little bit right there. Alright. So again, I only went to about halfway. Okay. And then we do the same on the other side. Close your eyes. Now, if I want to soften this a little bit, I'm going to go back with some of my brown shadow. Look up. Okay, some of that there. Look up. What? And as she keeps blinking, moving her eyes, this is more difficult. So try to encourage girls at home to very, very still. It helps. And close your eyes. Okay. All right, and then you would put mascara on. Like here. Don't blink. Concentrate. Pick something to look at and stare at it. Okay, and my chin. Okay. Now, I would put fake lashes on her, and I have these here. 
you can get these at Target or Walmart and make sure you get a glue to use with and what I would do is I would I would put a dab of the glue on my hand and then I would take the lash strip and I would run it through that and then I'd apply that onto her eye and but before you glue you have to measure so I guess I can show you how to do that so each all these eyelash strips come in one size fits all type deal so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to measure from the middle or close to the middle of the eye to the outside corner now you can see that that's too long for her so I would probably cut off about that much okay I would probably cut that much off take the other one and cut off the same amount so that they're even before I apply them before I get glue on them and apply them so that they fit custom to her now we know which ones we're using this weekend huh? And if you, if you guys really need me to post a tutorial on lashes, let me know and do that. All right, now for the lips. What we would like is a nice, clear red lip. Nothing too blue, no burgundy, no pink, but red, 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 straight red. So this is a red. It's very red, like fire engine, awesome red. Um, and this is actually a specific type of lip product that um, I've become acquainted with and I really love and I highly 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 recommend getting some um, it's called lip sense if you've ever heard of it uh, you'll know it's already awesome and what it does is I can apply this and then she can touch her mouth and um, drink things eat things and the colors not gonna go anywhere it's gonna stay there's not gonna be any smudging there's gonna be any no clown face no joker faces and I don't need I don't even need lip liner anymore because this stuff's so cool. So what I do is I shake it up. This one's called Blue Red. I also know that Fly Girl is a good red shade. So she's gonna go like this, give me granny lips. Granny lips. Just trying not to laugh when I do that. Okay, now you wanna apply this in small, thin coats. Make sure granny lips, here we come. Spread this over. There we go. So you notice I went this way with that one, this way with this one, and one nice big stroke for the bottom lip. Tight, tight, tight. There we go. Now I let that dry for like 30 seconds before we apply another coat. It's a nice bright red, it's awesome. Just stay like this. <laughs> <laughs> 